All right, welcome YouTubers. Vinny back here with another video. Guys, the cheat code is amazing. Uh, people are having amazing success with the cheat code. Uh, today is the last day for the Black Friday sale, so I suggest you take advantage of it while it's still here. Uh, I'm actually going to show you guys as soon as I bring up um, um, our group, our Telegram group. Uh, but in this video, guys, we're going to be talking about um, what to look for when trading. You know, when I first started trading, uh, I was confused about when I should be buying or when I should be selling or what areas do I buy? What areas do I sell in the market? And uh, today I'm going to simplify that for you guys so you guys will know exactly which direction you should be trading in. Because really, it's about the direction you're trading in, all right? If you're not trading in the right direction, guys, you're going to lose, all right? So it's imperative that you make sure that you're trading in the right direction. So let me go ahead and show you this on our Telegram group, which is free, all right? So these are the trades that I called out on November uh, 27th, okay? Okay. Um, Told everyone to buy USD JPY, USD CAD, US oil, USD CHF. Okay, and I told everyone to sell AUD, USD, NZD, USD, Euro USD, gold, and NZD CAD. Okay, so thanks to the cheat code, guys, I'm able to um, know in which direction we should be trading in when it comes to the market. So, for instance, if we wanted to take a look at some of these trades, so I, I told everyone to sell gold. Gold is currently selling. So let me turn on the indicator so you guys can see uh, gold. So we had a cheat code sell signal here on gold. Uh, what, what else? Um, let's do USD CAD, okay? Told everyone to buy USD CAD. I'm currently in the buy for that right now. Uh, USD CHF. Um, currently in the buy for that right now. Okay, we're on the eight. We're on an eight-hour time frame too, so it's going to look a little different. Uh, but USD JPY, telling everyone to buy USD JPY gold, telling everyone to sell gold. Okay, I've been holding gold since November sixteenth in the sale, so I'm looking for price to get down to at least seventeen twenty. Uh, for gold. So this is what I'm able to do with the cheat code, guys. So let's get, let's get back to the lesson at hand so you guys can understand exactly how and what you should be looking for when you're trading. So one of the things that when I come to the market, guys, there's only two ways to trade, as I always say. All right. The, you're either trading um, the impulse or you're trading the correction. Okay. This is the impulse. This is the correction or pullback. This is the impulse. This is the correction or pullback. So you have to know on the higher time frame if you're trading with the trend, that's the impulse, or you're trading against the trend, which is the pullback or correction on the higher time frame. All right. So when when price is in motion, or let's say uh, in the middle here, I'm only looking for price to get to a higher time frame supply or demand area, or some people call it support and resistance. But on the higher time frame, like the four hour, eight hour and daily time frame, weekly time frame, I'm sorry, the eight hour daily, weekly and monthly time frame, I consider uh, it being supply and demand. So you have supply up here, you have a demand. Anywhere in between the supply and demand area, guys, is what I consider support and resistance. These are areas in the market that can be easily uh, broken, okay? So that's why I consider those areas on the lower time frame support and resistance. So anywhere on the higher time frame, supplier demand area, we have support and resistance, okay? So with market structure, price is either creating higher highs and higher lows, okay? On this side, you see price is creating higher highs and higher lows. 
uh, prices in the downtrend, prices creating lower highs and lower lows, okay? So understanding that if price makes an impulse here, right, and creates a high, obviously the next step is for price to create a what? Higher low, all right? Then our expectations for the market to go even higher, to break this high and create a higher high, and then after price creates a higher high, there's always going to be a pullback and we're looking for price to create a higher low. Same exact steps, guys. It only, only, the only time that stops is when we have an area in the market right here where price has broken structure. Okay. This will be considered a break in structure right here. All right. The reason why this area is a break in structure is because this low is lower than this low. I'm sorry. This low here is lower than this low. So now that hasn't been a, a break in structure. Price has pulled back to retest this supply area and the price has gone down to break this low. And that, so now we have a trend, a, a trend, a, a change in direction and price is now starting to become bearish and create lower lows and lower highs, okay? So the areas of the areas that I'm looking in to trade are areas where price is at a supplier demand or a strong support and resistance area, okay? So in this example here, this will be considered a support and resistance area. At one time, this was a support area. Price came down into this area, shot back up, created a lower high, broke structure. Price came back to retest this support turn resistance and price continued down, okay? So I'm only looking to trade at areas where there's either support and resistance or supply and demand areas. That's what I'm looking for when I'm, I'm looking to trade. If, if price, for example, is, let's say, let me erase this and show you guys this example. Okay. If price is coming out of the, the, this demand zone and price is here, and say price moved up here, price moved up here, okay? I'm not looking to trade when price is in space here, okay? I'm either looking to trade when price creates a, a higher low here and I'll get confirmation that price wants to continue higher, then I'll be looking to trade. But if price is simply in space here, it's not in a supply or demand zone. I'm not looking to trade price at that moment, okay? I'm only going to wait for high probability trade setups where price is at a supply demand zone or a support and a resistance area. So those are the areas of interest that I'm looking for when I come to the market, okay? And so by using the indicator, I'm I'm able to get highly accurate uh, entries um, based on these support and resistance or supply and demand areas. So in the indicator, we have, we only use the indicator for confirmation, okay? We only use the indicator for confirmation. So the indicator gives you higher time frame and lower time frame support and resistance areas. And I mean, it's really, really accurate when it comes to that. So I'm only looking for price to get to an area on a higher time frame. So price on, on your USD came up here to this four hour resistance area. As you can see, we had a cheat code sell signal. And that's the time I'll be looking to take a position to sell the market, okay? Because we have tons of confluences and confirmations that price wants to reject this area, and that's what I'm looking to trade, okay? So this is indicator and what I teach you inside our, our coaching group, it's gonna help you become a very, very profitable trader with the cheat code system, guys. And as you guys can see, if you guys are in the Telegram group, uh, the trade ideas I give out are Highly, highly accurate, guys. Highly accurate. So I just wanted to share that video with you. Make sure you go get the cheat code system. I'd love to have you guys in our group. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them below. If not, I will see you guys in the next video.